Hello everybody, hope you're well. It's Alex here from WPEagle.com. Thought I'd do you a quick video on how to add your Instagram feed to your WordPress website. Instagram is a very popular photo sharing and filtering app. And yeah, you can pull your photos straight from Instagram and stick them in a widget on your WordPress blog. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna use um, the test site, which you can always always check out at test.wpeagle.com and you'll see all the work from my previous videos, uh, which I suggest you also have a look at if you haven't watched them already. And it's just a very basic WordPress site that I've got up and running with um, using the propulsion theme. Um, but the plugin I'm gonna to use today to add the uh, Instagram feed is a plugin called Wudo, Wudojo, Wudojo, easy for me to say. And it's available free from wuthemes.com. So I'm just gonna download it and put it into just the downloads folder. And then I'm gonna go and install it in my WordPress blog. So I'm just gonna log in now, the usual way. And then I'm gonna go down to plugins and add new plugin. So I'm now just gonna select my downloads folder and select the plugin I just downloaded, which is WooDojo. Uh, there's a more detailed video on installing plugins um, which I did previously if you want to check it out if you're not comfortable installing plugins. So that's just going to upload very quickly and then we can just activate it. Just while we're waiting I've uh, changed the titles of my videos again. I'm just trying to find the right balance. Maybe if you've seen a few of my videos you'll, you'll have noticed that they've changed. Let me know um, in the comments what you think about them. So we're going to activate the plugin and then we're ready to configure it. So now basically Woo Dojo. Not only does it um, give you Instagram feeds, it also gives you loads of other useful stuff. Um, and in fact, I'll probably do a, a full video on all the features. Um, but just for now, what we need to do is click on WeDojo and we need to install the, just trying to find it, the social widgets, here it is over on the right. So I'm just gonna click activate. Not only does it do Instagram, it also does a few of your other ones. So once that's activated, we then need to go into our appearance and widgets, and we're gonna add a widget to the sidebar with our Instagram feed. So now that's activated, we've got these extra plugins. So what we want is this one here, which gives us our Instagram stream. If you wanted, you could actually have your profile as well, but we'll just go for the stream today. So I'm gonna add that to my displayed everywhere. I'm gonna add it above the Twitter feed, um, which we used Twitter widget pro with in a previous video, but you could uh, use WooDojo for that as well. So just gonna call it Instagram. I need to enter my username and password, if you can remember your password, and then click save. And now that seems to be okay, because it says I'm logged in now. And then you've got some options, you can set how many uh, images display, whether the images float left or right, the size, whether you want to link to image and use a thick box, which um, I think is like a light box. So let's just save that and let's have a look. So we're gonna go back to the front, and yay, there's my Instagram feed. Anyway, that concludes um, today's video. I hope you found that useful. Um, to look at styling, go back through to my Firebug video, which is very similar. I'll show you how to do it on a Twitter feed, and you'll be able to probably make these look a little bit better, maybe in a you know in a square setup. Hope you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you soon. See you later.